You know, when this election campaign kicked off a number of days ago, I said, and we've been saying from the very beginning, that we saw a budget from the Ford Conservatives a number of days ago. And that was a budget that despite the challenging circumstances our province finds itself in, well, that was a budget that had no plan, no discernible or coherent path forward for the people of this province. And then two weeks ago today, literally two weeks ago today, we saw an election platform unveiled from Ontario's NDP. And that was a platform with no costing and no numbers. Two weeks later, still no costing and no numbers. On the one hand, the Ford Conservatives with no plan, and on the other hand, the NDP with no numbers, no costing. Neither approach makes sense. Neither approach is good enough for the people of Ontario. Neither approach is responsible and thoughtful or competent. And in particular, after the past two years that we've had in this province, this is a time when the chips are down and the stakes are high for Ontario families to have leadership at Queen's Park that is truly on their side, that has a plan, a comprehensive and inclusive plan that isn't short on details, that will break new ground, and that is fully costed and responsible. And that's, that's what a place to grow will deliver for the people of Ontario. Well, I can say I was at Queen's Park and, and watched as the, uh, as the Liberals focused on that last time. And we got hallway medicine. And we had thousands of nurses fired. We had hundreds of schools closed. Uh, we had, uh, uh, we had a, 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 a province where people couldn't get the things that they needed uh, to build a good life. We're going to stay focused on making sure people can build a good life here. I'm going to stay focused on making sure uh, that we don't increase the taxes of middle class and, uh, and working class folks or middle income and working income folks. Why? Because they just can't afford it anymore. So our plan is going to include include uh, making sure that those massive corporations that made all kinds of windfall profits during the uh, during the pandemic are going to be able to or uh, be asked to pay their fair share and we're going to make sure that the multi-millionaires in Ontario uh, that um, you know that can provide a little bit of help to make sure everyday families can afford to have a, a good life can afford everyday life here in Ontario we're going to make sure that they are paying it a little bit more too.